YouTube land. Hello YouTube land. This is Stacy, Chase, Deuce. Welcome to our backyard. I wanted to show a little bit more about our tricks. We, we enjoy tricks. We love wagging our tails and having fun. And if I'm a good trainer, I can train anything as a trick. So sometimes it gets a challenging when I'm stressed about something and then my dogs start to stress and worry about it. But if I keep it light and fun, then my dogs think it's a trick. So for example, the signal to lay down is a trick to them because it's fun. It's easy. I never made it stressful. I never got mad at them for not doing it. Only did it if they did it. And we have a signal for sit. So there's no stress involved with these. So Chase can do her, her uh, signal exercise for open really well because she thinks it's fun to go down. And so does Deuce, he's learning them too. Good boy. Okay, so something fun and has no use for in the ring except to make my dog excited is a spin. Spin. Good. Some dogs have a hard time spinning one way or the other. You spin. Good girl. So Deuce is learning spin. He's not very good at it yet. Can you spin? Good boy! And he gets a reward as he gets around the spin. It's not something he'll offer. He's spin. Yeah! Good boy! Come here, Deuce. Chase, come. Deuce. Can you spin? Good girl. So it's fun for them. The tails are wagging. There's no seriousness about it. So they enjoy giving that behavior. So something else Deuce is learning is touch good boy is to jump up to touch so he can get excitement and he's focused on his touch good and i do that i use a clicker train training to get him to do that but good boy so he's still working on his aim a little bit but deuce touch good boy no so chase doesn't really know touch that well deuce touch yeah good boy so that'll be a fun trick and how i'll use that in the ring deuce come deuce 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 I want to do healing and I, okay touch good boy to release him out of the healing it'll just give him an extra kind of fun hey, touch good boy and his healing that gets a release so it's so healing doesn't get stressful which I can it can get stressful um, so you know easy as a for shake or hit your brother hi buddy you guys are good so I'm just dispensing treats and asking them to do things and they have fun doing it. If I want to teach a new trick, this one's a hard one. I've not had a lot of success in teaching it. Deuce down. Crawl. So teaching crawl by basically luring them, doing girl chase, and putting a word to it. Down. Down. Crawl. So try and get them to go a little bit further in still in a crawl. Good girl! So, and then spin. Good girl! So we have a lot of fun with that. Um, one trick I don't tend to teach my dogs, I learned the hard way, is to speak. Um, I taught my first Bernese Mountain Dog to speak and I ended up having a dog who liked to bark all the time. So personally, I don't teach them to speak, but you can also, some people teach them to speak so they can teach them the quiet command. I didn't have success with that, but it, 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 it is a way that it can work. Um, not something I've had success with, but not to say it doesn't work. Get off. So we're trying to stem the jumping on me, but we're working on that. But again, I don't get mad for it because I don't want him to curb his enthusiasm for having fun and playing. Playing is a big part of training. Um, when we train, we play, and we play, we train. So it all intermixes together. And so hopefully my dogs don't ever think of training as boring or stressful. We might work on certain things, but they have fun doing it. So, and I have fun doing it with them too. Be fine. Give me 10. Yeah, not, don't jump up. Give me, sit. No, do sit. Give me 10. Good boy, we're working on it. Good dogs, all right. Happy, oh, get off, get off, get off. Happy training.